Trash to treasure videos are always my favorite to film. To me, there's nothing more fun to do than take something that somebody was going to pitch or somebody deemed as trash and turn it into something beautiful again. Today I have quite the odd combination. I usually like to take, you know, three little projects and uh, redo them and, you know, share them with you guys. But two of these are actually going to be kind of combined, so I'll end up with, you know, kind of two uh, treasures in the end. So first off, I have this really heavy iron pedestal that a local furniture place here didn't want anymore. They were going to pitch it, so I rescued it. And I always hang on to these large wooden cable spools. My brother-in-law is an electrician, and he has no use for them, so I um, usually end up with them. And last spring, I had also done a video where I used a spool like this and created a sign. I will link that below in case you're interested in checking it out. And then last, I have these little uh, glass cologne bottles. I had picked them up at a thrift store for, I think, 40 cents each. So join me as I work on all this and we'll see what happens. Okay, so my plan with these bottles is to remove this little cap here and paint them and maybe add a letter or a little word or something with my using my silhouette cameo and i have this little basket that i also just gave i think 50 cents for in a thrift store and i thought if i'd clean it up i wouldn't even need to paint it i like the white color and these little jars are going to fit in here perfectly so i might use it for just a little arrangement with maybe a flower or a fern frond or something uh, stuck into the bottles and i may end up you know selling all this in the vintage fair then I can't always keep everything for myself. be using Rustoleum's chalked paint. The color is called Serenity Blue. So I don't know how well you guys can see with the sun shining so brightly here, but I did give the, these bottles one just a light coat of the blue paint. And I can see, you know, it'll take a few coats to, um, you know, make so you don't see the Old Spice label. So I was kind of afraid I wouldn't have enough paint. So what I'm gonna do is use the charcoal paint and give it a good coat of that just to block out all those labels. So I'm going to distress this little wire basket just a bit with a uh, black paint marker.
So I cut out these numbers using my Silhouette Cameo, and like I've mentioned before, I don't think my life would be the same without that machine. Um, I will link it below in case any of you are interested in you know, making signs or doing things like this. Um, you don't, you don't want to be without a Silhouette Cameo, if you ask me. guys, so I'm pretty excited about this project. Uh, this pedestal has a thread inside here in the middle. So I was able to go out and get a piece of pipe, again from my brother-in-law, um, and it has thread on both ends here. So the one end will go into the pedestal here, and the other, this plate will be fastened to. And then what I'm planning on doing is taking the top off of this spool here and using it for a tabletop for you know just a little table like a pedestal table so this will go onto the bottom of the top here um, this will make more sense you know as I go but uh, what I want to do is you know paint everything so it's the same color as far as the the pedestal the pipe and this plate so I'm planning on keeping the top as it is besides I'll give it a good sanding and a couple coats of polycrylic um, unless I do end up applying a light stain, I don't think I will since I do like the stamps that are on here, like the words. I think that gives it a nice industrial look. I think I'll go ahead and leave the top fastened to the rest of the spool as I work on it. That way I have a sturdy surface to work on. I will lightly sand this top here and give it a second coat of the polycrylic. So I have plenty of this chalked paint on hand as the charcoal color. So that is what I will be using for the pipe and the pedestal and this plate. So of course with a spool top like this, you're gonna have all these you know, little holes and stuff in the top. I guess that's part of the look. 
But I did want to cover the center one that way if someone wants to add a centerpiece or something on here it'll be possible and I wanted it to be as flat as possible. So I ended up cutting off the top of a tin can of tomatoes and what I'm going to be doing with this lid here or this top is painting it with the same paint that I used for the uh, base of the table the chalked charcoal paint. I think I'm going to try to use this E6000 glue to just glue it on. Um, there's really no other way uh, since I don't have a lot of you know wood to attach it to like with little screws or something. So I think there's still enough space there for you know some glue to take hold. I realize not everyone would have a pedestal just lying around, you know, not in use like this, but there are definitely other ways you can repurpose a cable spool. In fact, I have plans for the other half of the spool and I will share that with you guys in a future video. Let's not forget about the old spice bottles. I think they turned out pretty good. They would look great, I think, on a maybe a bathroom vanity or on a shelf somewhere since they are fairly small. I hope you guys enjoyed this Trash to Treasure video. Thank you so much for watching. My goal is to inspire and I try to publish one video a week. Anything from, you know, do-it-yourself, repurposing, painting, um, anything to just bring a new look to something. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and want to be notified of future videos that I post. I hope you all have a great week and I will see you in the next video. Bye!